Okay, hello. Uh, here we are at Croft. Um, enjoy Croft usually. Um, it's always a good buzz here. Tricky track. Um, we've just finished uh, the two, two practice sessions there. Uh, first practice, we didn't get any running in the dry really, um, any, free, any any quick laps, and it rained. Um, but uh, we seem to be fairly good in the in the, in the wet, which is normal. Um, but the good thing is um, we've got the car really going well in the in in, uh, in FP2, which is completely dry. So uh, we're in P10 there. So uh, ahead of Matt Neal, which is pretty good. Um, so uh, yeah, we've made some substantial changes to the car since the last round. Uh, we've got the new two, 2014 uh, aero on the car now, so it's it's up to the full specification of the motor race cars now. So uh, whether that's making a difference, um, we've made some tweaks to the setup. So uh, yeah, it seems to be going quite well at the moment. So uh, fingers crossed for uh, qualifying and uh, we'll have a good qualifying session and get in the top ten. That's that. That's our aim. So uh, we'll keep you up to speed on uh, after after qualifying. See you shortly. Right, we've just finished qualifying there, and um, we're P16. We seem to be kind of lodged in that kind of area. Um, I guess the only uh, good thing is um, we're kind of closer to, to the top 10 on time-wise, and um, the other Fords. Um, Matt Jackson just pipped us on the last lap there. Uh, so we're one place behind Matt Jackson, who's been qualifying well inside the top 10. So I think the upgrades on the car have helped. Um, and it was a bit of a bit of a worrying session actually because we'd done our first run of uh, run, and we came in we failed ride height so uh, we hadn't actually put a time on the board until the last session there so until the last you would get two two shots at it, um, so I had to make it count, uh, and that was on my mind. Um, so uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not been a not been a bad day. I think the car is better uh, than it's been all year. I think in qualifying. Now we just need to tune it for, for the race now and uh, just make sure we've got a good race car but P16 is not where we want to be but I think it's coming. I think we're getting a better handle on this car. Every time we we, we, uh, we, we make changes it seems to we, we seem to learn a little bit more so um, uh, we haven't had the testing with the other guys have, uh, that have been able to fine-tune fine their setups over, over the years. So um, we're not doing so bad and if we're, you know, we're ahead of Fabrizio Giovinardi, two-time champion, exactly the same car. Uh, with Motorbase, who have been running that car for three years, so we're not. It's not so bad. It's just the the position is P16. That's the that's the bad thing. But uh, it's all about tomorrow. Um, we'll go and just work our way forward tomorrow. It's very difficult, um, very hard on the tyres around here, and our car is pretty good on tyres. So uh, we should we should have good race pace, and uh, bring on tomorrow. Look forward to it. Difficult day, really. Uh, we made big steps forward with the car, um, which I think will prove beneficial in the race tomorrow. Um, well, unfortunately, we had an accident in FP2, but these things happen when you're pushing hard. But I'm not too disappointed, and I think things will move forward. The upgrade to the two, full 2014 spec was beneficial to calling, and I think that will help in the races more than in qualifying as well. So, looking forward to tomorrow. Um, I think if everything goes to plan, we should be able to get up into the top 10, and then, as we all know, reverse grids can, can always be uh, kind to you. And so, looking forward to being right up there for race three. Roll on tomorrow.
race one just finished there. Um, did okay. Um, we uh, we came from 16th to 11th. So we're just on the fridge of the top tens, solid points, um, and we had really good pace towards the end. We had best, better pace than a good few cars ahead of us. Um, we were just too uh, too far back, I think. Um, this, we can make uh, improvements on the car. We think we just had a good look at the data uh, and look at the car, and um, we think we can make some improvements. So uh, here's looking forward to race two. Race two, not a lot to say really, we didn't get very far. Um, unfortunately off the start, uh, Rob Austin in the rear wheel drive Audi that gets spectacular starts. I think he went for a gap and I think he got squeezed into me and next thing I know he's, riding, he's driving over the top of my bonnet. So uh, he's done quite a bit of damage to my car. Um, we went back, back out there to do a couple of laps, uh, taped all the pony went back on but uh, car was too badly damaged to do anything so uh, thought best could best park it early and uh, get the guys give the guys plenty of time to get it fixed so that's it we're going to be starting from the back for the next race unfortunately but uh, well we should we should make some make our way forward but getting the points is going to be very difficult uh, 28th to 15th is not going to be easy but we'll, we'll give it a good good shot and uh, see, see where we end up Completed. Um, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't great. Uh, we're on the soft tyres, and um, the first first lap. I mean, we were so far back. I don't know where, where we are. Nineteenth, uh, 29th, something like that. We we're so far back. I couldn't see the, the, the starting lights. So, uh, um, so I didn't make the best of starts. But we're 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 in, in amongst it. Um, but a lot of smoke came into the car, and all I could see was smoke at the back of the car. I thought, crack, I'm on fire. So I came into the pits, and you couldn't find anything wrong, went back out, and it was fine. So we think it might have been another car that, that was filling my car full of smoke, and I was looking in the mirror and just seeing the remnants of that. But I think it was worthwhile coming in just to check it. We didn't lose a lot of time, we were at the back anyway. But yeah, we got going, and uh, I thought we were, we were way off the pace, but the, the team were telling me that we're, we're on the pace of the guys at the front, we just didn't, we were too far back. Uh, it's been the story of our season, really. So, um, yeah, I finished 16th from, I think, 29th. So that's not too bad. So uh, onwards and upwards now. There's a bit of a break now. Halfway through the season now. So uh, look forward to having a, a much better second half of the season now. We've kind of settled into the team. Everybody knows uh, how, we, how, how each other operates. And uh, hopefully we can have a real good second half of the season. So uh, we'll keep you posted there. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. Well, a difficult weekend at Croft, I think. Um, we had very good pace. We've made some big changes to the car, both with aerodynamic package, but also with setup. And uh, that showed in FP1, FP2. We had a bit of a shunt in FP2, which put us on the back foot a bit. But again, still we qualified, you know, within a tenth or so of Matt Jackson, who ended up being one of the stars of the weekend here. So uh, race one, it's good. Up to P11. Great, kept out of trouble, perfect. Unfortunately, race two we ended up being collided with, um, with two faster starting cars alongside of us. It's just one of those incidents, really. Nobody's fault, it's just one of those things. Three into one doesn't go. Um, which then put us at the back for race three. Race three, we pulled ourselves up to P16. You never know, if somebody gets kicked out, we might squeak a point for P15. But uh, uh, disappointing, um, but we've got a five week break now to work through. We might be able to get time to have a test but there's lots of work going on with the car, engine being refreshed in that meantime, also the turbo, gearbox will be stripped and checked again as normal, uh, and the car stripped and checked as well. But um, really looking forward to Steston. The focus worked very well there last year. Let's hope we can replicate those performances and uh, maybe Lady Luck will be with us next weekend.